Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing the very first Monster Taming's Hidden Gem segment on my channel. This is going to be a weekly segment where I kind of give spotlights to games that kind of deserve a little bit more of attention. So in today's video, we are going to be uncovering the secrets of a compelling video game world where an incredible adventure called Jay Cocoon. Let's take a trip down memory lane to the late 90s when Jay Cocoon arrived on the original PlayStation. This game developed by Genki and developed by Kashu Kondu brought together elements of role playing, strategy, and monster taming to create an adventure that players would never forget. It's hard to find any official sales figures for the game, probably because it didn't do well in terms of sales when you compare it to Final Fantasy VIII which sold a whopping 8.6 million units, or the incredible success of Pokemon Red and Blue, which sold over 30 million units. At its core, Jay Cocoon is all about the captivating art of capturing and training mystical creatures called minions. However, what truly sets it apart is the groundbreaking approach to creature management, unlike other games of its time, where creatures were mere companions, J.K. Kuhn introduced the concept of fusion. The game takes things to the next level by allowing players to merge their minions and create entirely new species. Each species has its own distinct abilities and traits, making the game more engaging and challenging. This feature encouraged players to experiment and uncover countless combinations, adding an excitement element of discovery to the gameplay. Beyond creature battles, Jay Cocoon features a compelling narrative and enchanting world that transports players into a realm of ancient lore and mythical creatures. Taking on the role of Cocoon Master, players set out on a quest to lift a mysterious curse plaguing their village, venturing through mystical forests, gloomy dungeons, and fantastical realms. Jay Cocoon may not have received the recognition it deserved when it first came out, but it truly was a hidden gem. It got overshadowed by other games of its era, but those who stumble upon it were captivated by its enchanting charm and addictive gameplay. The developers of Jay Cocoon truly showcased their creativity and forward thinking with this game. Its influence can be seen in modern titles that incorporate creature collection and fusion elements, but it still holds a special place in the hearts of those who are drawn to its enchanting world. If you want a gaming experience like no other, check out Jay Cocoon. Discover its mysteries, conquer its obstacles, and dive into an unforgettable adventure. Before I end the video, guys, I definitely would like to see a remaster or a reboot or maybe a, a continuing of the story, but unfortunately, this game does have some really complex licenses that are attached to it, so the probability of us ever seen any type of reboot or remaster of this game probably likely none still if you guys do have an original playstation and are able to get a hold of this game i definitely recommend playing it this is definitely a hidden gem that deserves a lot more attention this this game is probably one of the best monster taming games that i will ever play and then on like on top of that I think it might be one of one of the best monster taming games of all time. I know that's a pretty bold claim, but this game like offered so many things that other monster taming games that just don't offer. It offers voice acting. The the story is very compelling. The art is beautiful. Really, the only negative thing I could probably say is the controls and walk it around. I, I'm not gonna lie, they are super janky. That's like really the only negative thing I can really point to this, unless you wanna say the 15 hour, you know, 15 to 20 hour play play loop, unless you get really lucky and get, you know, a drop that, you know, the legendary sword drop and that kills everything in one hit. But you know, that's less than a 1% chance. But yeah, I feel like this is a, you know, a really great game that I recommend everybody play. But yeah, let me know down below how you guys feel about this game. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.